Hi there, guys. We are um, here with Ginger and Oscar and their babies. This is Ginger's first litter of puppies, and I was so excited to have um, Oscar be the daddy because Ginger and Oscar are best of friends. Oh, are you being protective? Oscar, you want to check them out? Um, so my mom and dad gifted Ginger to my husband, Marcus and I, and um, we have her at our home, and she's our our baby and she now has her own baby so we're quite proud of her um, and whenever these guys are outside you can bet they're going to be off playing somewhere if you can't find one you just have to holler for one or the other and they'll both be coming so um, so I love that about uh, this litter we have Oscar and Ginger combined in these sweet little guys and as you can see Oscar here is he loves being the star of the show he's a sweet gentleman he's handsome and he's uh, loves being around people and Ginger is our little people pleaser. She loves to she loves to do anything you ask of her and um, I think they'll be passing that on to their puppies. So I'm excited to see how these guys turn out um, so we have They are their breeding is F1BB golden doodle, right? That's, yeah, right. Yeah, so um, mini right mm -hmm. so ginger here is like at 28 pounds and she's an F1B Golden Doodle, and Oscar here is a mini pool, and I'm not 100% sure on your weight, but I'd guess around 15 pounds, yeah. Um, so they're gonna be your 20 pound mini uh, F1BB Golden Doodle, and um, a few of these guys have the white markings that Oscar has, and this little guy actually has a heart on top of his head, it's the cutest thing, and then, um, that one, girl. yes, that's a little girl. She has very curly hair. There's, as they're growing older, you can see their curls coming out more and more. And there's a few of them who have these adorable highlights in their hair coat. Um, and Ginger had that as a puppy as well. That was one of the things that drew us to her. So um, I love seeing that. And then we have a few that are uh, color-wise leaning more toward Ginger's mama's side and that is Elena. She's a mama here at Pine Creek Doodles as well. She's this light golden color so this little guy here is definitely um, coming from his grandma's coloring. Isn't that right? So their uh, date of birth was November 1st I believe um, and so that puts them at being three weeks old this coming Wednesday I believe. So they um, are going to be available to go home two days after Christmas. They'll be eight weeks old then. And so I'm very excited about that. Curious to see who all the families are that they'll end up with. <laughs> Oscar, are you tired of this? <laughs> so there are seven boys and two girls. So the girls are outnumbered in this bunch. Isn't that right, Ginger? Yeah. So I believe uh, the one you want to lick? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about the early neurological stimulation that we've done as well. Um, we're just at the end of that, so that's within their first few weeks of age. Um, we do that, and what that all involves, um, I'll show you here. You go ahead and keep licking. I'll show you this little puppy. Um, I don't have a cold wet washcloth, but I can just tell you about that. So uh, holding the puppy upright for a few seconds and upside down. And we like to touch and feel the puppies as we're doing this, um, laying them on their back. Yeah, you guys are good with that because you like your tummy rub. Um, and then getting them used to being felt between their paws, um, getting that stimulation into their paw pad. And then we lay them on a cold, hard surface as well, which is a wet, cold washcloth for us usually. Um, so all of that stimulation in the first two weeks time span of their life is helping them to um, it helps develop their cardiovascular system it helps them to be resistant against um, sicknesses mm -hmm. illnesses and it's just very interesting to see the difference in our litters um, once they get to this age where they're actually they just opened their eyes and their ears are opening up they're at that between two and three week mark when that happens um, and once they start doing that, they can see the world around them. <laughs> and so they start sniffing as well. And that was a huge thing I noticed when we started doing the simulation, started doing the simulation. Um, 
these little guys will use their nose for everything and that's a trademark for a dog obviously they smell everything but we noticed that these start doing that and that just shows how the early neurological stimulation it just stimulates their senses and um, makes them more inquisitive about the world around them and, and that's a very good thing <laughs> oh Oski, you can't understand this, can you? Yeah. Why is your best bud growling at you? She's being a good mama. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, with the simulation, we have been able to see a bit of which puppies are more laid back and which puppies are going to be more aggressive. They usually, there's usually a few who are squalling a bit more during the first few times of doing it and um, that's always interesting to see their character coming out. So, yeah. This little guy, as you can see, has a very wide, short nose and face set. And I love that. Um, so Ginger's dad is Copper, who is um, a male here at Pine Creek Doodles as well. And uh, we love his short, stocky nose. Um, he's got that trait, and he has passed it on to these puppies. So I think that makes for an adorable face. Yeah, you looking for mama? <laughs> you guys having a snack back here? So check these guys out on our Pine Creek Doodles, uh, Golden Doodles page. We will have individual pictures coming up soon. Right now we have a litter picture with boys and girls listed. And I believe so far we have one pick, um, or are there no picks? I don't think there are. I don't think there are. No, there aren't. That was Bailey's litter that I was thinking about. Um, so if you are interested in an adorable little uh, about you're looking at right around the 20 pound mark So a smaller to medium mm -hmm. size um, Pet they are going to be around that size and you can be first on this litters list of picking out your uh, new family member